I'm Andrea James, I'm a Yorta Yorta Gunai Kurnai woman and I'm the director of Ghosting the Party. My name is Belinda Giblin, I'm playing Grace in Ghosting the Party. I'm the grandmother, there are three generations of women and I'm actually playing an 87 year old grandmother which is just wonderful. Ghosting the Party is an intergenerational comedy, dark comedy, uh, and it's about uh, womanhood, domesticity throughout the ages, um, but it's also about death. Grace, of course, because she's 87 in this play and wanting to top herself, <laughs> basically because she's got nothing left to do. She's done it before the stroke, the dementia, the fall. She wants to get out while she still can. Melissa Bubnik um, is an incredibly clever writer. Um, and she also brings into the play all of these incredible, universal, huge philosophical concepts about death and dying and what is that thing? You know, is it a better place? You know, so, so while it seems like it's a nice little, you know, um, cosy little domestic comedy, actually, you know, she's asking massive questions of people in Sydney, people of the world about what it means to be, you know, to be a woman and to be a carer and what happens when that notion gets pushed to its extremes. It's been wonderful that I would say in the last decade I have had a, a real, uh, you know, um, saddlebag of fabulous roles being offered me, all of them transformational. Amy Hack, Belinda Giblin, Gillian O'Dowd, oh my gosh, what three gifts, you know, that I get to work with. It's so joyous, it really is. And yeah, we're having fun. We're just making ourselves at home. You know, we've made a very comfortable little space here. There's lots of cups of tea, lots of laughter, you know, and these women are very, you know, they're really smart, great actors, they all get along like a house on fire. They're actually already starting to come in sort of strangely colour coordinated. All of us got on immediately uh, and have real, I think, real rapport. We're all quite earnest actors, making lots of offers. <laughs> uh, and that's wonderful to be in a cast like that. It's actually a very womanly space and that's just such a beautiful, rare thing you know, in, in theatre to be really working in this quite um, deliberately feminine space. And I think that's actually what Melissa's asking of us. I have to say, Melissa Bubnik is a glorious writer. Her observations of these characters is utterly extraordinary.